Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to the Traveling On channel. Well today I've got my lovely assistant and uh, even though we're a little old, we are wearing twinsy outfits today. I guess you have to be young at heart. But anyways, what we're going to do today, we are going to explore Seoul and look for cherry blossoms and other spring uh, bloomings. But uh, this is only like literally 50 meters from our house and uh, you already have this beautiful view of cherry blossom trees. So come along with us. So we're hoping that uh, our neighborhood isn't the best spot for flowers. But we are going to go venture out to a, a place called the Seoul Forest. Alright, so we arrived to the Seoul Forest and waiting with eager anticipation whether or not we're going to get some good cherry blossoms. We're just uh, enjoying the Seoul Forest. This is uh, the Seoul version of a forest. But uh, we're gonna go check out some of the, uh, hopefully the cherry blossoms that are blooming. But uh, this is a nice, they have a little circle throughout the field so that uh, each party can sit within their circle for social distancing, which is pretty cool, really nice. Oh yeah, so basically we got some Gatorade. I'm trying to stay away from the caffeine, although this is sugar, but this reminds me of my good old wrestling days. I used to chug a couple of these right before a match. Great stuff. On a hot day like this, it is a good thirst quencher for sure. So one of the reasons why we're here uh, today is that uh, over the next two days on Saturday and Sunday, it's going to rain, which means that a lot of these beautiful cherry blossoms are going to uh, start falling down off the trees pretty quickly. Well, that was the uh, little uh, tour of the Seoul Forest, which was really beautiful with uh, all the cherry blossoms that did not disappoint, fortunately. So I think we're going to be heading to another area uh, on the lookout for more uh, beautiful flowers that are going to be blooming, hopefully. All right, we just arrived to Tongdokgung Palace and we just realized now we actually have never been here. So our first reaction is going to be on video. So let's go do this. Mm 
kind of an epic fail. Basically, the palace closes at 6 p.m., but unfortunately, they don't, uh, they close the actual entrance at 5. The people that are already in the palace can stay until 6, but uh, yeah, that's, that's a bummer. So we'll just have to uh, come back to the palace and, and uh, conquer this palace on another day. Uh, we were hoping that we could get some nice uh, floral uh, blooming colors, but uh, we're gonna head over to, I, I believe, another palace to check that out. Okay, well, we made it to one of the palaces here in Seoul. It's the Cheonggyeonggung Palace. This wasn't really a palace journey, but we were hoping to get uh, to see some spring flowers blooming. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little tour in search for cherry blossoms and the other spring flowers that we tried to find this spring. Once again, thank you so much for visiting the channel. Smash that like button, subscribe down below, and hit that notification bell. Until the next video, we'll see you then. Babe, where are we at? Chong. Changdokgung. Changdokgung? No, Changdokgung. Ch Changdokgung. Alright, we are at Changdokgung Palace. Huh? Changdokgung. Can you spell it for me? Can you show me the spelling so I can pronounce it right? Alright, take two. Changdokgung. Changdokgung. Changdokgung Palace.